Hey guys, Miko here and welcome to my YouTube channel. This episode we're gonna talk about how I write demos and how I um, record them, an idea and program them and just continuing on with the song idea until it becomes a full-fledged song. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Again, if you're new to this channel or you just you've been watching but haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I highly recommend you to subscribe because I, I I'll be giving more content and tips and tricks on recording soon and also random covers so if you like the content would it hurt to subscribe right <laughs> so wait let me just get my guitar so it's been a week or so since i haven't touched the guitar and i've been trying to i've been playing with a certain idea just for this demo um, I, I, I've been trying to play around with a classic chord progression, I guess, rock or metal chord progression. It sounds like this. So that, that's the chord progression that I, that I have. And we'll try to make a riff out of it and I'll also teach on how to program drums for it and also program bass because I I don't have a bass with me as well so everything other than the guitar is programmed in the DEW so let's start. I guess the first tip that I could give you is that create a writing template in whichever DEW that you're using. Uh, for me I use Reaper and I already have a writing template set up so in terms of I have a new idea or a new riff that I want to record I don't have to set everything up again like load my plugins, load my bass, load my drums and mix them again just so that the creative, your creative juices or your train of thought won't um, it won't it won't be interrupted because you have to mix and in reality you just have to record your song or your idea quickly. So in, in my setup this is it's like this. Um, it's basically my drums or is already routed properly and it's already pre-mixed, meaning there's, there's there there are plugins already loaded in it, so it, it won't sound as raw as as you would load it the first time. So in this one, I'm using the P4 kit. And it's already at least sounding pretty fine that I don't really need to tweak it while I'm recording my song. Then I already have my um, parallel compression and reverb for the drums. Uh, we won't get into that part in here, but it's good that you know that it's there already. And now the synths, I have I have a, li a lane of synth here just in case I need to play around or add um, synths to my to my demo, and this one is for the bass part. Um, I am using the Submission Audio Gin bass for this one. I used to use the Euro bass too before. And then, lastly, um, uh, this part is for the guitars, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have one that is just the monitor, that the, the one that I hear through the speaker, so this one. You can hear it from there. Um, I, I think I have a plug in here, but it's just a the GGD Studio Cab Zilla Edition, which is just basically my IR, IR loader. So in my in my AX8, I'm oh, wrong one. <laughs> Uh, in my AX8, I'm just using my my Afridman HB amp with a boost pedal in front of it, but cab section turned off because the Zilla takes care of it. And bef and below that, I have rhythm guitars um, set up because everything you hear in rock and in metal, it's mostly double tracked. So I already have that prepared, and I think it just has. Um, the studio have Zilla plugin as well for both. So I already put that. So, in case of 
well most of the time we record a song we most of we just track the rhythm guitars first right so just to make sure that you have that already set up so that's my writing template and everything's just ready to go when I when I click new like like I will go yeah I will write I will create a new project and everything will load there you go so I think the one, only thing that I did was I lowered the monitor volume because it's quite loud <laughs> there I try to lower it a bit. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do is we'll try to know what BPM is the song is at. I try to make it a bit quicker. Oh, it's 140. <laughs> I try it now. Um, I 152. I think this works but personally for me I can't really um, track with a metronome that well so I usually start with a generic drum beat and I track the part with that so let's open this um, MIDI MIDI, link, uh, MIDI editor here and as you can see there are already notes my, in, in my MIDI in my MIDI editor because again it helps with a writing template that you don't have to guess what note are you going to hit so in my in my template I already have the P4 kit um, notes already labeled so I don't I don't have to figure it out anymore all right <laughs> so let's try to just program a generic beat to what I to what I recorded earlier with I, what I the chord progression earlier so <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to speed this up because sometimes I'm pretty slow down. And it also helps when when you try to um, sing or air drum the part, so just you, you'll have an idea of what you'll do. Like <laughs> like that, so I'm sorry if this, this drum beat is so cheesy right now, but let's try to work on it. There, so then we'll try to add quarter notes, a uh, quarter like hats. I guess we can use this one. It's just too fast. Right symbol, right? So yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, right makes sense. So, so that. So, since we're just going to make this a template, we're just going to copy paste the notes. No need to. No need to try to be um, a professional in this one. have that part and I think we should duplicate this just in case so let's try to jam around the, that cheesy um, drum progression 
And let's try to think if we have... Um... So let's try to um, increase the BPM a bit. Uh, at least in MIDI, you don't have to retract everything again, so it's just gonna be a bit faster. That's good enough. And uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, I don't know if um, I'm in the right tempo. I mean, I think I'm off. Okay, so I think I think two two rotations of that part is a good idea. Okay, so let's try to track that one. Let me just uh, use the tuner real quick. Okay, so we're 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 a bit tuned better now, I guess. So let's try to track this one. I hope I can nail a good take of it with with the camera on. I'm not the best guitarist, I'm not I'm not the most technical guitar player, so please bear with me. Ah. Okay, so I think we're a bit off on that one. I'm, I'm a bit um, ridiculous with this one, but <laughs> I, it contradicts my next point, which is um, in terms of writing a demo, you don't have to be meticulous as other people would be. Um, try to just record the part as near in our, and as on time as possible. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, it's okay to hear a little bit of noise or wrong notes, I guess. But the, the important thing is just keep the train of thought or your creative thought flowing. And if you get stuck on one part because you're frustrated on, you can't play the riff currently, don't let that affect or, or stop your writing process. What's important is you make a full song rather than just a perfect day. So yeah. let's try to apply this one, at least for me. So that example I messed up big time. So let's try to let's try to make it as clean as possible. I think that's pretty close. So what what we'll do is just bring this down here, and we'll duplicate it here. So we have. I'm sorry for destroying your ears. With that one, <laughs> God. Let's try to fix it. On. Okay, so we now have that part. So. Uh, like I said earlier, um, everything in the modern uh, mu metal music or rock music are do double track. So let's try to nail it again. Oh, first one. Okay, so we have that two note, uh, um, 
part already. So in terms of just building is, I'm, I'm imagining that after that, we'll have a halftime. Oh, I missed a... Man, this is, this is such a good idea. Let's try to add that part because I like that part. <laughs> I was humming it. Okay, so with that, with that, what I wanted, the beat feels weird, so let's try to. Okay, so there's a bit of a weird. So let's try that one. If it's if it, if it sounds better. Ah, uh, feel awkward. Take time. Sometimes you have to take time and figure out the notes in your head. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not the most complicated riff ever, but it's still <laughs> I still have to figure it out. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Let's try that one. Again. Okay. I think this will sound decent. Now we have that we have that um, riff. I don't think this this is a good riff to get intro though. So okay, so the next part that I was thinking was add a uh, like a halftime beat like. like that so let's try if we can make it work with the current drum loop <laughs> okay I think that that works I think it, for if I'm writing a quick demo or an idea that I can fill in uh, and save on my hard drive <laughs> I don't know if that the two takes are so are similar try it again okay close enough so at least the main idea of the riff is there okay basically we can like put this over here again Okay, so now we're done with the idea, the idea or the the part that you that you have in your head, and you're just trying to figure it out next. So what I would do now is I would 
Put down the guitar.